What's up guys, this is Ton Ton here and welcome back to my channel. So today let's have a look at the new studio series Will Jack from the movie Bumblebee. So first and foremost here we have Will Jack in his Cybertronian form. And I must say that this is a really nice design. This is what we expect from a combination between the Michael Bay style with the realistic details slash proportion merging with the G1. I absolutely adore this kind of design and even though that Wilczek appears in only in the beginning of the movie's Bumblebee, it still feels like we got a whole recapture of him with every single detail in this scale. And I love the way Hasbro and Takatomi capture his aesthetics and details why him. I don't know for you guys, but I still get a little bit of the Wolf of Cybertron vibe over here, you know, with the fat torso section and the short leg. You know, it still feels a little bit of the Cybertronian vibe, the Wolf of Cybertron vibe over here. And that is for the overall. And one thing that I must compliment Hasbro is that if we turn him around, backpack is free. He got no backpack and I adore this, but I must say this is fairly easy because you know, with all the Cybertronian mode, it w it would always be easier for the designer to make a backpackless robot mode. And I must say, I enjoy this result. I enjoy the aesthetics, and I enjoy every single bit about him. So the colors of him looks to be white, but in actually, it is a little bit of the, of the pale colors. I'm sorry if my camera cannot capture it, but it is a little bit pale. And he got some paint over some section, but for most of the details, I think that the paint shows better in the vehicle mode. But for the paint in the robot mode, we got the chest, obviously, with some nice green and red paint over there. We got some clear dark navy blue plastic for the glass. But that brings me to the question, this is some kind of automated vehicle, so why do they need glass to see? You got a really nice head sculpt with a lot of paint on it. You got some uh, silver paint onto the mouth guard and the head crest. And you got some really nice metallic blue onto the ears, the fin, and his eyes. And on the leg, you got some really nice green painting for the stripes. I absolutely adore this. And also, you got a lot of details onto his body. And like I always said, these details give you the chance to have a lot of panel lining opportunities to make him look more details. And if you look at the arm section over there, you can see that this is a really nice sculpt. You got a lot of mechanic mechanical details. Plus, there's a thing that I don't understand. You know, so you see this arm guard over here. I don't know why they make it this way. You know, they just. You know, I mean, like, they could just fix it by giving it a rotate, pull out, and rotate pin and it would looks a lot nicer than this. This is kind of dumb me. And of course, Wheeljack will not be Wheeljack if not for his fin but like the earthrise design you can see the fin is on the back section and it sticks like that but for this version of Wheeljack they put it onto his shoulders so actually I prefer the fin this way and as for the torso there's also another problem that you see he's connected the whole torso is connected by uh, this pin over here but they are pretty loose and can be easily fall out so that is uh, something that you should be careful with so yeah. Tighten the joints up would be a good idea. The thing that I don't get about the feet is that bit of the that dark navy blue clear plastic and they got paint on it. But then why? Because like the feet is where it is got most easy for paint tripped. And look at all this all nice detail and they are clashing with his leg section over here. So paint tripping warning very soon. And if you look closely there's actually a ball joint over here. But in my versions, and I expect that all versions have the same problem, the bow joint is like super tight. So yeah, there's not nothing much we can do about it. So and I so also I recommend try not to handle the joints too much because in the end you could break it. For accessories, with the Earthrise disappointment of accessories with this kind of this thingy, we got a really nice blaster for Wheeljack this time. Big and chunky and I think this is movie accurate. It is just a piece of grey plastic and it got a lot of details over it. And I think this is a fairly enjoyable gun. He can hold it by both of his both of his hand like that. And I think it works well. It shows the spec that he's actually a combatant. And you can store the guns onto his back. Just like this. 
weapon storage. Articulation wise, we begin with the head. You can look up and down like that. And of course, it's on the ball joint, so 360. Shoulders can move out, rotate. You got a bicep swivel. This is the bend of the elbow. It's a double jointed. His waist can rotate. Okay, and this is kind of blocked because of this piece over here. So his leg can kick to the front, to kick to the back. It's not too much of a split because of the blocky of the thighs armor. You got a thigh swivel over there. And if you look closer, if you rotate it again, you see this is some really nice rotating details over here. I enjoy that. You got the bend of the knee, 90 degrees. And this here can move in and out. And you got a ball joint, but it's too tight to move, so I would rather not to move it. I mean, like for this Cybertronian mode, I have always expected a good articulation because they are like nearly 90% cable freeze, and this wheel jack delivers that. And except for the leg section, which is kind of disappointment because of the thighs armor, but I think he's work, he works still fine. So now let's get to some size comparison. So for the size comparison, here we have. Bumblebee, Wheeljack and Optimus all in their Cybertronian form and I say those scale works well since B and Wheeljack are the deluxe class I mean like Wheeljack is like a little bit higher than Bumblebee but I still love the scale and now let's get to transformation So after finish transforming Wheeljack, I must say that we end up with a pretty satisfying vehicle mode or I should say artillery mode. I mean like look at this, this is a really sporty aesthetics and you can see that in this vehicle mode, if you look at the front of the car, all this nice paint are brought up and they comprehend each other really well. You can see all the, the full piece of the dark navy blue clear plastic, the red, the green and it all matches really well. And if you look at the top of the vehicle, you see, so they got this here that uh, it should be flipped backwards like this, but I find it unamusing, so I'm just gonna leave it there like that. So I got a little splash of green over there as well. And if you turn him around, you can see that this is a really nice section. It even try to recreate the fin of the vehicle over here, and in a very sporty way. And if you flip him around, and you see this is a really clean bottom section of the car over here and I enjoy the wheels as well the wheels are also clear plastic and got painted over here so I hope that they wouldn't get paint trip over time and they rolls really well and for the gun here you can also store it so you got this tab over here just gonna tap it down here like that yeah and that is really nice and finally for size comparison here we have next to the Earthrise G1 wheeljack and as you can see this is essentially the same concept but brought in two different ways the classic and the modern design and I love both of them but if I had to choose well I'm gonna choose the latest wheeljack the Bumblebee versions of wheeljack over here so overall I must say if you are the collectors of the Studio Series line or you just want to collect wheeljacks or you are a fan of the Bumblebee movie 
this is a must buy over here and so that sums up my studio series Will Jack from the Bumblebee live action. What do you think of him? Will you be getting him? Tell me in the comment section. And also like and share, subscribe if you are new, and follow me on Instagram. That is where most of my updates will be. So yeah, see you next time. Ton ton out.